Well, this summer, rabbit owners are urged to be aware of rabbit hemorrhagic disease virus 2, a fatal disease spread from wild rabbits to domestic rabbits. The disease is rabbit hemorrhagic disease virus 2, and it moved in from Mexico about two years ago. It's been coming across the United States. Started out in uh, about two years ago in, in Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, the southern states, um, and is moving slowly, progressively up through the Midwest and the western part. She says there is a vaccine for healthy rabbits, but unfortunately, there isn't a treatment for rabbits that have contracted the virus. Basically, it's endemic stable in our wild population, meaning that it's here. It's probably not going away. Probably will be a cyclic type virus. And as it spreads, it causes acute death, so very fast death in both wild and domestic rabbits. So it can definitely affect our 4-H kids, FFA kids, any rabbit colonies out there are at risk for this disease. But it does not affect other species, only rabbits. And other animals that happen to prey on the rabbits, it will not affect them, just the rabbits. And she says there are a few things that rabbit owners and others can do to help stop the spread of rabbit hemorrhagic disease virus 2. The number one thing we can do to prevent RHDV2, as we call it, is biosecurity. Do not contaminate. Uh, don't go outside and then come back inside where you've been in a rabbit area outside. Don't go inside to your rabbits. Make sure you have clean shoes on, clean clothing. Don't go visit other rabbit areas. If you see dead wild rabbits, contact your game and fish or whoever is in charge of wild rabbits in that area. Don't pick them up. Do not touch them. And wash, wash, wash. Clean clothing and wash. That's number one. And it's also very important to mention that the disease has been reported in both Montana and Wyoming. In Billings, Russell Nimitz, MTN News.